So Seek, what would you like to seek out first in your first journey into time and space? I don't really know, Doctor. There are so many things. The early days of Aconia before the devastation. New worlds. Pick for me something you think I will find exciting. I know just the place. I think this point in human history might interest you. If you say so, Doctor. I just want to learn. Hmm. I think a change of outfit might be wise to seek. The world out there is far back in humanity's history, and strange makes the spectacle, which draws the wrong type of people, and we don't want that on your first trip. So where will I find the garments that fit? Okay, first left, second right, third on the left, under the stairs, past the bins, straight ahead, fifth door on your left, you'll find the wardrobe. What do you think? Perfect. Right, I've checked everything. Don't want to bump into an old version of myself out there, as I am rather fond of visiting this period. I'll have to tell you some of the tales of some of my visits to the, this period of Earth's history. We'll do that a little later. Should we go out and explore? I'll just land first. Okay, so that's the Crystal Palace. Can you see that up the street? Hmm, if this is right, it's 1881. We're outside the London suburb of Sindham Hill. At Crystal Palace, you can see exhibitions of all Earth's ancient history. Are we going to go there? I don't see why not. Nothing particularly otherworldly happens at this time, sir. So Yes, let's go. I promise you, you're going to love it. I hope this works. Otherwise, I'm going to look very, very foolish. Um, I promise you, Maximus, that this transport and transmitting technology will revolutionize your society. I cannot imagine what use this transmat would be. Imagine, think of the possibilities. Goods, instead of weeks at sea, could arrive from, let's say, India, as soon as harvested, fresh, totally fresh. You're at war, and you need to get troops to the battle quickly. With Transmat, they'll be sent instantly. Soldiers, with their guns and ammunition. Now that could well be a useful thing. No, 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 no. There are better things to do with it than that. There's a famine, right? Think of the good of getting supplies to the people quickly. Mortimus, I think I know how to use this device. <laughs> this is not why I brought this to you. Get him out of here. All right, you. Come on. Let's get you out of here. The things I can do with this device. The money I can make. <laughs> power I will have. Oh, I'm so, so... There isn't a word for what I am right now over this. Did I? I think it told you. 
that the great fossil where I got Stevie Wonder to sing for my wife under London Bridge. By the time there was a whopping great big sea monster. Oh, those were the days. Oh, there's been some. I've uh, had some interesting times here in Victorian London. This ought to be new. I'm actually teaching somebody about human history, except only the person I brought to Victorian London was Leela. Oh. There's a Time Lord here. <clears throat> it's not the Master. I'm sure of that. But I don't think I've seen this one for many, many years. Well, in many, many years to come. If this one, if one looks at those from today's date, uh, 1979, yes, I think it was. There was a grumpy Scotsman back then. <clears throat> is this bad? Will you not be pleased to see one of your own people that is not the Master? Unfortunately, this Time Lord has limited imagination, and I can only th I can only think of his own gain. I really hope that if it's him, he's not up to his old tricks. Well, shouldn't we avoid him then? Well, as much as I would like to avoid him, I think it is important to ensure that he's not doing anything he shouldn't be. I'm very well, Doctor. If we are protecting my ancestors, we will go and find out. Look, these are ordinary dwellings, do you think? That this is where we're going? I don't want to get into trouble this far back in time. Well, if we're careful, we should be okay. But in my heart of hearts, this is where he'll be. I've known him ever since Gallifrey. But I ran into him on Earth in 1066, dressed as a monk. So he got the nickname, The Meddling Monk. And it stuck. For. Ever. Well, he's an interesting character, all right. But, um... Oh, no, here we... This is definitely the place. He's been here. I can feel it. Oh, my giddy aunt. He isn't here now, but he has been. Look. These are plans for a transmat device. Doctor, that is not good. I take it humans do not have transmat at this point in history? No. Humanity doesn't get a proper transmat for around another 200 years. Humanity at this point has only properly, just properly, harnessed electricity. Totally. I hasn't got an inkling of this. Doctor, come on. Right. Quick, let's go. Let's take I think someone's plans. coming. Uh, yes, yes. Very good, very good. We'll take them. That will stop him. Yes, Seek, I think you're right. Come on, let's go. Let's get out of here. Did you find anything interesting down here? No, we were just looking for the toilets got lost. <laughs> I'm really not so sure that's the truth. Now, why would we lie about a thing like that? I heard your companion call you the doctor. I was warned that a man or woman called the doctor would show up snooping. I'm the doctor, yes. This is Seek. I think you're keeping some very strange company, Mr. Jones. Maximus Jones. And that's Sir to you. Boys! Well, that's not why we came here. But now you mention it. Well, there's no good for those. We were just leaving. Mr. Jones don't want to see you around here. We don't want to have to use these, but we will. Yeah, you bet we will. <laughs> this is going to be more problematic than I thought. What was your plan, Doctor? Nothing is ever that easy. Well, I was just going to take the plans and leave. Which I did. Although that isn't the end of the issue. Jones will have made copies and notes. And then there is my old friend Mortimus. Odd that his ally here on Earth is called Maximus. This technology in this time period would seriously mess with the timelines. Why is that, Doctor? Well, Seek. 
There are certain things in this point, and for many years to come, which must happen. They are fixed points. And no matter how bad they are, they must play out a certain way to keep history straight. Well, that's the plan. It's safely put away on, on the bookcase. Just that. Right. Um, now I've got to figure out how to get back in there. If I'm not mistaken, that is Mortimus. Seek, you stay here. I trust him less than I trust the master. I see you too have regenerated, much more pleasing on the eyes than the angry Scotsman. As you see, I also have regenerated. Yes, Mortimus, I can see that. Shame's regeneration is just like all your others, only caring for what you can get out of planets and their history. <coughs> I'm trying to help this planet. Give them a little technological leg up, as it were. A leg up, as you put it, would throw the entire timeline of Earth so far off. What are you hoping to gain? I'm not hoping to gain anything. I honestly wanted to help. Um, Doctor, I have changed. When you left me after Loch Ness and then the Time War, I was totally at loss. I realised there was no point in feathering my own nest to use the terminology of this period. Well, you do realise that we have to stop Maximus Jones getting the team at running, don't you? He speaks the truth, Doctor. I know he will help us. I hope you're right. I've never been able to tell with Mortimus. He hides his intentions well. Not well enough to hide his intentions from me, Doctor. Now that I can show you. Doctor, my word on the seal of Russell and I will help. I came to find you because Maximus Jones has hired thugs to guard him and his prototype. I realised what would happen. This planet would descend into war and chaos. And there was no way I could have that on my conscience. So what made you decide? Transmat. Especially in this period. Well, I just thought if they could get their guts from one place to another quicker. So how do we get past those? I have an idea. Let's walk right up to them. So we're heading down the road to the exhibition. And I'll just knock them out. Mortimus, you wait here. As long as you don't kill them. Let's give it a go. Way easier than expected. Oh well, at least it's done. Let's get Mortimus down here and we can get this over with. Ah oh well, if it isn't the Doctor. How did you get past my men? I see. Are you here to stop me? It's far too late. I have my prototype team at. I'm ready to use it. I'm going to be rich. I'm going to rule the world. Oh dear. Mortimus, you did tell him he needs a receiving platform at his destination. I tried, Doctor. I really tried. He would not listen. Oh my, what has happened to him? So he's dead? Bad way wow. to go. Everyone back! Well, that didn't go quite.
quite as I'd hoped. But that's what happens when you team up without a receiver. By the way, Mortimus, where is your TARDIS? Uh, you're leaning on it. <laughs> ah, yes. I see it now. Should we carry on with what we were do, going to do? Visit the Crystal Palace? Uh, yes, Doctor. I think we need to calm down. My first trip into time and space? I didn't expect this. Better take this stuff with us as well. I think we better, better get all this stuff back into the TARDIS. And be on our way. Hey, hey.